Hello everyone, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will see how to create rotation animations like the ones that you can see here. We have this looping animation for the seesaw, we also have an infinite rotation for the wheel and we also have this rotation for the swim which is a little different because it's actually rotating from this angle in here to here. So we will see how to create all of these cases in spline. All right. Let's begin. All right, so I already have my scene built in here and this is a quite simple scene. I just have a floor, which is just a rectangle, which is using a green color. The background of the scene is also green in the same color of the floor. And I also have this better object, which is for the sand. And if you see here, it's just a bunch of uh, points and I'm using a round corner that is really high. And that's how I can achieve this round uh, effect. Then I'm using a bunch of primitives for the different games here in the playground so what I want to do is that I want to add animation to all of these objects right and I want to start with the seesaw which is the most simple shape here so um, if I select this object and I move it or rotate it here you can see that it's not really moving with the other objects right in order for these other objects to move with this object when i rotate what i need to do is i need to select all of these objects by pressing uh, chief and then i can create a group by pressing command g then i can rename this to be seesaw all right so now if i rotate this object you can see that the blue boxes are moving with the middle one so this is working fine, but uh, one last step might be for this one is that I want uh, the, the axis to be right here in the middle of these two shapes. So the way I can do this is that I can hold Command and Alt and then I can move this to the middle and then I can deselect and select this again and now when I move this object um, it's actually moving in a more precise way. So now I'm going to create another state and I want the base state to be something like this and then the new state is going to be something like this. So I just need to create an event it's going to be a start event and it's going to be I think it's in and out I think that's fine and if we play this it's going to move but uh, perhaps we can actually use maybe something like a mouse hover and then uh, we can do like five like 0.5 seconds so now if we hover then it's moving I think that's fine all right so now let's go to the wheel this one is quite easy uh, so I'm going to create a new state here and then I'm going to rotate this uh, 360 degrees and then I'm just going to create a start event and I want this to be maybe something like 10 seconds and I want it to be linear so it's always be like a constant movement I also want the animation to be repeated and then if I play this animation you can see that this is moving perhaps this could be maybe more like um, 50 seconds so it's a little slower okay uh, that works all right so finally we can animate the swim and this is very similar i can select the group that contains this part in here which is a child object of this and for this what i want is to do the same as i did with the seesaw i'm going to press command alt to select the parent and then i'm going to move the position to match with the position of this tube in here so now if i deselect and select this object again you can see that it's going to be rotating in the right way so now i just going to create a new state and um, so my basic step is going to be like this and the new step is going to be something like this we can remove like this hover event and we can use the star event and for this what i want to do is that i want to use a sprint transition and this is going to also be repeating so all right i think i have all the animations working and if I play this, actually it's not working as expected. <laughs> so what happens here is that this is repeating, but it's not cycling. So what I want is this to be cycling. And I just realized that the spring is not a good idea. So I'm actually going to use is in and out. So it has like a more natural movement. Um, so now let's try playing this again and see if this is working. 
yeah i think it's a lot better um perhaps we can also do the same with this one so it's going to be on the start so they're all always going to be moving and this will be maybe like one second now let's see how that works and then finally here like a repeat and also cycle all right and that's how you can create uh, different type of rotations on a spline. You can repeat, you can change the pivot orientation or the pivot uh, position to rotate your objects in different ways. I hope this simple tutorial helped you to create different rotation effects on your sims. All right, see you in the next time.